I'm Dr. Professor and this is my video review of S4 League. Dr. Professor, S4 S4 League is an online third-person shooter featuring an assortment of skills, weapons, and stylish anime graphics. This is actually one of my favorite shooter MMOs. Special Features Skill System The skill system allows every player one skill which can be bought in-game. The skills range from wings to a shield blocking all projectiles to turning temporarily invisible. Awesome. Almost all skills steadily drain SP while they're being used, and it can quickly regenerate when not using a skill. Also, jumping off a wall and dashing use massive SP. Managing your skills is an important part of gameplay, as usually, a few well-placed wall jumps or the use of a certain skill will get you out of death. Character Customization When you start off, you've just got two hairstyles, two faces, and a few different colors of shirts and pants. However, as you go on and make money by winning games, dozens of clothing items, as well as a few hairstyles of different colors become available. Presentation! The graphics in S4 League are stylish, cool, and fairly detailed. Characters and backgrounds reminiscent of cult hit Jet Set Radio. The anime graphics are striking and fun to look at. Bright neon and clean colors are a big step away from the drab environments of, say, guns, and keep the same levels from becoming a pain to look at. Equally as intention grabbing is the music. I mean, listen to this. Techno and electric sounds perfectly match the cyber world setting. The song might sound a bit familiar, as well as the narrator. Is that DJ Max? Actually, the same company made both games, and there's even a few character cameos. The music does what it's made to either way. Keep you rushing. Modes. Team Deathmatch. Two teams face off their death. First to get to 40, 80, or 100 kills to win. Touchdown! In this teamwork base mode, two rival teams fight to get the ball to the goal. If you die with the ball, it could fall into the enemy's hand, so be careful. Chaser! A new mode in which a chosen player is given a massive health bar and an opposing team must take him down, or at least survive. The chaser gets more points if he kills a certain player, so hope you're not next on the menu. Community! Here's a nice surprise. The community in S4 League is actually really nice. I found hackers to be rare, only seeing one every few weeks. Working together with your team counts in, say, touchdown matches, and everyone is usually nice. Two disorganized teams make for games that go back and forth and back and forth forever, but the assortment of skills and weapons that heal, put up brick walls, attack players through walls, fly, all those working together make for an impossible to break defense or a great offense. All the skills are equally as important. Gameplay. Weapons. The weapons, for the most part, each have their own pros and cons. For example, the weapons that deal a lot of damage are also very inaccurate, as is normal for a game like this. Close range weapons are easy to figure out and hard to master. If you miss with a big attack, with most of them, you'll be a sitting duck for just long enough to be killed by anyone, with even a little bit of aim. Seriously. Skills! The skills all make a big difference in gameplay. For the most part, if you hate a certain weapon, there's a skill that will help you avoid it. Wings make short swords and close range weapons useless most of the time. As do chains, which stop an enemy in their tracks. Shields make completely useless those pesky snipers, etc. 
level design. The level design seems to be de dedicated to keep you moving. If you stand still for 20 seconds, someone will find you. You'll eventually have to learn the layout of each level. Rushing in head first at someone or going in certain places makes you extremely noticeable in a crowded game. In Touchdown, the map design asks for the use of skills at the right places to speed up a touchdown or slow down the other teams. Generally, gameplay in S4 League equals fast. You won't find yourself K styling, but the gameplay can be unforgiving depending on who you're fighting. Missing a close range strike usually ends up in death, but on the earlier levels, with m all the other noobs, Things are fun and easy, but it's a cruel world later on. Overall, S4 League is a fun, fast-paced, and easy-to-start game with an assortment of weapons and skills opening up many possibilities for gameplay. You can spend days, 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 messing around with the different weapon combinations, finding your perfect set. The game is sharp and stylish, and I hope everyone gives it a quick try at least. Go to framex2.blogspot.com for the full written review, or check the shop sidebar for a link.